Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a Dial Pharmaceuticals a channel, Medicines for Addictions, and joining to discuss the recent earnings, what we can kind of expect moving forward, and a bit more in between. We have Tony Goodman, the COO, joining us. First and foremost, welcome, sir. Thank you, Kyle. Great to be with you. Such a pleasure to get you on. Uh, diving into this, first and foremost, uh, you did post some uh, just recent updates around earnings. You're kind of talking with the FDA. There was more with the partnership with Cytel. Maybe break this down and tell us what's been going on. Sure. I think i um, happy to. We had a really great meeting with the FDA. Um, I think we mentioned this as part of our earnings release. The um, uh, focus of that meeting was something that um, was a very important milestone for the company. Uh, we've been working hard for the last several months to prepare us for that meeting, partly in uh, in a partnership with uh, a company called Cytel. Uh, they brought a lot of heavy duty biostats and uh, clinical trial design experience to the table, working collaboratively uh, collaboratively with them, it really helped us in um, scoping a good plan for the upcoming uh, phase three program for our lead candidate, AD04, in the treatment of alcohol use disorder. And I think that was reflected in our discussions we had with the the approving division. Eventually, this division, we will be submitting our, uh, our NDA to. Um, so this early alignment is important. And as a follow-up to that, our next steps essentially are that we need to uh, you know, submit our statistical, full statistical analysis plan to them, as well as uh, our uh, updated protocol based on their inputs and feedback and things of that sort. So really excited about that. Um, the other thing that we've announced is we had a, a really uh, great uh, uh, preliminary partnership discussion that led eventually to a, a signed agreement with both Thermo Fisher uh, Scientific and their um, ability to produce ADO4 as a, as a drug uh, product to help us in uh, conducting the clinical trial uh, and our partnership with Cambrix on supplying the active pharmaceutical ingredient. And both of those companies being US-based uh, helps us, I think, in the longer term because they're certainly not subject to tariff-related impact on uh, pricing and products and things of that sort that they produce. And um, all of this, we believe, is helpful, going to be helpful for us eventually um, and, and will renew interest, I think, in potential partnerships for the company, which is a key strategic pillar for us. Uh, you know, ADO, ADOL is intent on developing ADO4 in the AUD space and finding that suitable partner is something that we're very excited about. And I think this gives us a catalyst to do that. Yeah, I think you've uh, encapsulated a lot here uh, and maybe just kind of uh, taking it forward. I mean, there's some hints on what's going to be coming down uh, the pipe here, but maybe with the latter half of the year, you know, quickly approaching. I mean, maybe tell us what investors should be paying attention to. Yeah, I mean, I think um, what we'd like to uh, for investors to think about is the fact that, you know, we're in a good position right now uh, to get ready to execute on the ADO4 clinical program. Uh, the importance of this trial design, I think, is that we'll get an interim analysis and a readout that'll help us, uh, you know, looking at more near term, um, you know, inflection points for data. I think that's an important one. Um, you know, we clearly have, uh, you know, up updated, um, you know, regulatory and strategic plans as a result of that. And I think that, you know, they should expect that, you know, an increase in the level of intensity uh, related to partnerships uh, as a result of all of that. And so uh, I think that, you know, we're in uh, discussions with partners um, all the time. I think it's a matter of, you know, finding the right combination of, of, of attractiveness with the data and information we're producing to help pull those partners along uh, in the discussions and get them to, you know, commit to, um, you know, taking on a license or some other form of structured agreement with them. So some of the other uh, milestones I think we're excited to, uh, to share. We have a looming potential patent out there that uh, we just filed an application for and uh, we, be, we will begin prosecution of that patent over time. And, you know, if that patent is granted, that would certainly extend our intellectual property field out to 2045, which has a tremendous impact on the company valuation as well as our potential for partnerships as well. So we're excited about those things as, as well, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. On that note, uh, I appreciate everything here as we pass it off to the viewers, as always. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section. And consider subscribing as news catalysts like this come down the wire. Of course, we'll bring it to you here. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.